Today we thought we'd look at the question we get asked a lot. How do you stop a mass strap from pulling your hair? Well, one way is to wear some type of lightweight hood, uh, perhaps a little lycra or something. If you pull this over, um, quick note, the opening is supposed to go towards your face. It makes it easier to breathe. And uh, as you can see, it makes your hair look very nice before and after the dive. But some people uh, wear hoods not only just to protect their hair, but also to kind of protect their scalp. Uh, hoods can also help if uh, you happen to be a little follically challenged and you're worried about uh, sunburn up there. But uh, if that's not your issue and all you're trying to do is protect your hair, another option is to do a mass strap cover. This is simply a neoprene sleeve that you can install over the pre-existing mask strap. All you do is unhook one side of the mask strap from the mask and then shove it down inside the uh, little sleeve. Sometimes it's difficult to get it to go through and you'll find that if you take a uh, pen or some other device and give it a little push, you can get it to go through the sleeve to where your fingers can grab it easily and then you pull it on through. After you get it all the way through, just uh, straighten out the strap a little bit, and then you're going to rehook the mask strap to the mask. Anytime you're hooking a strap onto a mask, always work from the inside of the mask and then up through the buckle. That's the way they're designed to go. So work from the inside of the mask on up, give it a little pull, and then that will install the mask strap cover for you. Now it's important to note that you're still going to use the normal system of tightening or loosening the strap because it's just the standard strap on there. Another option is a total replacement of the strap. The first ones were done with Velcro. Uh, you remove the strap and then just uh, push the one end of the strap up through the clips that uh, retain the mask and then you can see that there's a soft Velcro and a hard Velcro side and so they just kind of clip together there. You can adjust those underwater by pulling away on the Velcro, readjusting the size, then slapping it back down. So that's all there is to that one. It's very important no matter uh, which one of these straps that you use, always make sure that the Scuba Toys logo is pointing out. It helps with our blatant advertising campaign. Here's actually a picture that was entered into a photo contest we ran and which shows the, the strap oriented properly. Now actually our favorite replacement strap is one that uses tiny little buckles instead of Velcro for attachment. Uh, they look kind of like little tiny little weight belt buckles and if uh, you order a mask with the strap we'll install it for you but if you're just picking up one of these straps here's how they go on. First you remove the buckles and they have to be threaded on properly. You go up through the first hole in the buckle and then down through the second one just like it's shown there. Okay, we'll take the other one and we'll put it on the other side as well. So you go up through the first hole and then you just go down through the center hole. You can move the actual buckle along the strap however you want in order to uh, change the size and you can do that later as well. So our next step is going to be to remove the standard strap that comes with the mask. There's little retainers on there, just uh, pull out the little retaining clip and then you're going to have to loosen the buckle slightly by pulling out on it and then the strap will just slide right out. We'll do the same thing on the other side, remove the retaining clip and then pull the strap on through. Since our strap is all prepared, the only thing we have to do is install it now. And again, we do that from the inside of the buckle and then work up. So we just kind of start on the inside, push it up, and then it will just go into the tiny little buckle, just like putting it in a tiny little weight belt, and it just pushes down it in order to clasp into place. We'll do the same thing on the other side just work from the inside of the mask on up and you'll see that they're kind of pointed which makes them uh, a little easier in order to get into the hole there but lots of times you do have to release the clip a little bit by pulling it out you slide it on up it goes into the little buckle and then it will just clamp down one of the best things about these straps is they're very easy to adjust to tighten or loosen even when it's on your head and you're in the water all you have to do is give a little push on the little buckle in order to release it and then you can pull in either direction either tighten the strap or loosen the strap and just clamp it back down. The other nice thing about these straps is they don't break. While standard mass straps break all the time it's handy to keep the one that you took off as a replacement. You're not going to need it but somebody else on the boat might and remember the value of a replacement strap is directly proportional to the distance from shore.